thoughts of college classes remind me of long lectures and hard tests. But some students will have a different experience this fall at UCF. Some classes in the physics department at that university are about to do away with an old school way to try something new. Dr. Jeffrey Bendel is teaching the classes. Dr. Jacqueline Cheney will be researching and advising. Thank you both for coming in on the Sunday morning. Thank, well, thank you. you for inviting us. So UCF is in good company. Harvard started this first. We're second in the country to do this, first in Florida, I think. Correct. What was appealing to you guys to say, let's try this at UCF? Well, I've been teaching this course for a while, and my feeling is that it wasn't really working. Uh, tests were just crammed for the test and right. then flunked the test. Right. And people fall asleep at lectures. In fact, they get catatonic after a while. So we had to find a better way. And uh, Dr. Mazur up at Harvard found a better way. And so what are the results at Harvard? What are they seeing? How's it working? So research actually shows that students can only pay attention to lecture for about 10 minutes. Researchers really? had students wear sensors to track their brain activity, and their brains were actually more active when they were sleeping than when they, when they were attending a lecture-based class. And so they've seen that students really learn a lot more on some common tests that they've used across different years at the school. Dr. Brindle, my question is, how do you teach physics with no tests? Like, I can't imagine that. No lectures, no <laughs> tests. Where do you start? Well, we put them in the real world. Okay. Uh, they learn when they read, when they study. They only study for exams. Well, we don't give exams, so they don't do it then. They're going to do it before that. Okay. And we have technology which allows us to track what they're reading and what their problems are. So without lectures, we have time to really explore those issues in class, which is really important. Now, do students already know about this? And so are they signing up in record numbers to come to the physics department? We, we don't really know. <laughs> this isn't the world's most popular course. Uh, in fact, they get the hives just thinking about it. Right. Uh, but no, uh, we, we, we see we have registration. I did send them letters, okay. but they haven't responded, so I don't know if they're checking their email. Uh, but they should know. <laughs> they should know. And, and I guess I, I want to ask, are they, are they placed in real world environment? People always ask me, how did you learn how to read a teleprompter? And you learn just by doing it, right? So is that the kind of environment they're going to be placed in? We give them projects. We okay. do three serious projects, which they have to do in teams. Okay. So basically, in a team environment, they're teaching themselves. Gotcha. It's, a, it's peer instruction is what it's called, and it's very effective. And and one of the things we hear from industry is that students are missing these so-called soft skills of teamwork and communication and creativity, and they learn those in their general education courses at UCF, but this is going to give them the opportunity to apply those in the context of science to these projects that Jeff's going to have them do. I love it. Jeff and Jacqueline, thank you both for coming in. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck with the class. We'll be sure to follow up with you guys.